Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Origins 2 where I just got back from Minmus. I took a um, trip out to Minmus. Let's um, and you can see the data that I collected on the way back uh, from Minmus and I was doing that so that I would be able to grab this ground unit charging station I think it was. Yeah, the RTG and then the mini nuke which is for the ground station. I wanted to use this because the dark side of the moon takes half of a month for that to work and you know, yada yada yada. Um, so th that's what we're going to get with this 1210. So we're going to go ahead and research this. And the arm I think was something. Where was the arm? I must have had it already. Because the arm isn't here. The arm isn't here. And the arm isn't here. So I did have that big arm. I'll show you what we did with the uh, Opie. Uh, we took Opie out to uh, the moon. <coughs> okay, so we researched that. Eventually I'll get a ship out to uh, Minmus and uh, drop off one of these uh, one of these things here. Uh, we might be able to do it on the moon because I just checked and we have a uh, plant a flag on the moon. Yeah, we'll do that one. We got 10 years to plant a flag on the moon. Uh, science data from the surface of Minmus. We'll grab that one real quick here. And then build a new orbital station around the moon. Build a new station that has an antenna, a docking port, and can generate power. Have the facility supporting at least five Kerbals. That's easy. <clears throat> Maintain stability for 10 seconds. Put your station in orbit of the moon. They're going to advance me 63,000, and they'll give us 172 when it's completed. So we're going to go ahead and take that one. 13 years to support five Kerbals in orbit of the moon. Nothing else. I mean, docking port. So I think... All right, I think I have something at a million six here, 1.6 mil. What I will do is <clears throat> I'm going to take Maria 3. Well, version 1, we took this out. Hell, that'll work. Let's, let's do that. Let's take that out. <clears throat> Here's the five Kerbals. Well, four in this one, three at the top. And since it's a station, and of course once we get the station there, we can do whatever we want to with the station. Um, oh, crap. Let's take those off. We don't need that. We may not land. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll just we'll leave that there. We won't. We're not gonna take that jettison. This will just stay there forever and ever and ever. We don't need the engine don't even need at this actually and we don't need the fuel because <laughs> we won't be taken off we don't need to separate from here let's do that <clears throat> this this is enough for five this has enough for eight actually I'm sorry let's check that seven actually uh, and we've got some science on here oh we don't have a docking port we need a docking port oh we don't need parachutes it's not coming back <clears throat> we need a docking port oh that's a little one okay there's our docking port we can generate power do we have batteries we've got very little battery right here
We have antenna. We can control it if there's no one in it. <clears throat> in fact, we don't actually have to send anybody up. Do we? Uh, launch these three. Jettison those. Jettison that and fire that. And we're the... We're, oh, we don't even need the landing gear. Hello. Don't need the landing gear. We need to turn these around, though. That way they can point up. So let's put four of these lights on and aim them up. Yeah, looks cool. And this is considered a station. It has antennas, it has power, the ability to generate. We've got one over here. And we need to make this a double. We've got one here, which probably don't need that. <clears throat> I don't think we need that one. Let's take that one off. Okay, we got generate power. We have battery. We have a docking port. It'll hold four in here. Is that correct? Yeah, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we don't need Valentina. We don't need an engineer. And... <clears throat> We don't need a pilot. We can do whatever we want with this once we get it up there. So, <clears throat> I think that is it. I think we're ready to launch. Uh, let's, let's call it Maria Moon Station. How about that? Moon Station. Habitat 4, Habitat 7, isn't it? We can have 7. And it has a docking port. That won't interfere with anything, will it? What is the antenna? Another docking something docked? I don't think... No, that'll be fine. <clears throat> I think that'll be it. Save that. Uh, let's go out to the launch pad. And do apologize for the rain in the background. It's raining here. <clears throat> uh, off and on. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, night mission. Uh, let's see. Before we do that, let's go to the tracking station. Before we launch. And we needed science from the where? Moon? I don't know. Moon. I think it was science from the No, I have to put something in. Oh my god. Don't even remember. <clears throat> oh shit, the contracts were right there. Uh, plant a flag on the moon. Oh, yeah, okay. Transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Minmus. And it's saying that I haven't collected any from the Ionis, the Ion Collector. Uh, but I've sent 11, so maybe I, I don't know, we'll have, I may have to build one and send it up there. This time we'll use the, um, the RTT. Uh, so let's go out to Minmus and go to the surface. And I'm sure we have a station right here. We just have one on this side, I think. And I left a guy out here. Uh, brought up a, well, brought up the Maria 3 version 1. With a habitat. And we have an engineer in this 
Minma Station here. Uh, let's take a temperature reading from the surface. Log the temperatures, and that we should get us another. There we go. Let's tab over to our science station here. Now, what I did was I landed the rocket. Yeah, I landed there. It's 347 meters away. I took Maldu, which was the scientist. I flew her over here. She put out. There goes our surface deployed mystery goo, I think is what that was. What that said, anyway. Um, we transmitted. Uh, recovered scientific data from the surface of Mimis, so that was good. Collected 0 of 5 from the moon. We'll get out there later. But anyway, I flew her over. She put down a size monitor. She put down a size monitor. Unless we already had it, I don't remember. And she put down the ionosphere. So I think we had... We either had one or two, and I've dropped down another one. So we are full on Minmus for science. There's another weather station, but there's no atmosphere on Minmus, so there will be no weather. So that can only be used on Kerbin or, or uh, the moon, uh, sorry, Duna, um, Eve, and the rest of them. But uh, no atmosphere here. So this is fully loaded. It gets dark, it loses power, and then it comes back up and running. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. What is this one? <clears throat> have a facility supporting at least five Kerbals put your station in orbit of the moon. So that's where we're going now. Real quick, I will show you these. We advanced scan with the rover arm. Oh, I can't do that one right now because the big rover arm is OP is in the dark. But we, we, I finished OP. Uh, I tested a stack separator for a couple of thousand dollars. Uh, surface deploy mystery goo, yes. Surface deploy mystery goo from the moon surface. Deployed science cluster on Minmus, unable to process seismic event. Science cluster is not powered. Science cluster is not powered. What? Uh, maybe something. I don't know. Unable to transmit deployed science data from Minmus. Has no comnet connection. Okay, we didn't have a connection. Surface deploy mystery. These are just notifications. The new surface has generated a successful transmission. 18 science. Did that one. Unable to transmit deployed science. Just when it gets dark. Um, we just received pyramidal data from Minmus. Got it. And has generated 31 science from the mystery goo. Very good. So, we're getting a lot from that mystery goo. Are you connected? You're connected. You're powered. Yeah. It is required. One. Yeah, we have enough. We have enough. So. Okay. So that is that. Let's get out of here and head back to the launch pad. <clears throat> and we will launch for the moon. Uh, we're heading to the moon to put a station in orbit. Uh, should we do the straight launch, too? There's nobody in here. Let's fly that. I think everything will work. I have, no, we'll just revert. It might be the, the little unit I have. Oh. Yeah, we just have these two things here. We should have enough Delta V to get us to the moon. Oh, what happens here? Oh, yeah, that, that breaks off. Yeah. Okay. So a moon station. This will be our moon station. Yeah, I got a ladder here. Let's close these before we break something. Oh. Oh, what was in here? 
Well, we've got some... I've got a couple of these already on the moon. We don't need any of these. What we should do is take a power generator. That's what we're going to do. We're going to recover... No, we're going to revert. Revert to launch. Oh, we have to recover. Resume. Recover. Let's load it back. Let's put in an RTG because eventually I'll have a couple of guys go out. They'll um, link up to the station around um, the moon and drop down to the surface. Put down this. Um, is it, what was it called? Mario Three. They called Mario first, version three one. <laughs> It's called, oh, Moon Station. Maria 3 Moon Station. There we go. Load that. Okay, take this out. Oh my god. That out. Take that out. And we want to add an RTG. That's $10,000 a piece. Let's put two on there. Well, I hope nothing happens to this flight. Uh, I'm putting two on because we do have two stations out there and uh, two ground stations and maybe that'll help go throughout the night okay do we have any riders oh Jebediah you're always trying to sneak a ride buddy we just have the one extra scientist here and two up on uh, the moon the carbon station so we just have three scientists in total. I think that does it. Let's give this a launch. Let's save it. I've done everything. Correct. Do we need that ladder? No, we don't need that ladder on there. What do we need that ladder for? Oh my god. And let's close this while we're here. And we have an antenna. We just we got three antennas. We got one here. We got one there. Oh, we just have the one. Oh, we just have the one. Let's put us another one on, just in case. Uh, should we make it fold out? Nah. Yep. Gives us an extra one, and we have some science aboard. Ladder to hold on to. I don't see anything wrong with this ship. Let's save it. Launch it. We're going to the moon. To get into orbit, we have power, we can generate power, we have the antenna, we can have five Kerbals on there. It just says room, not have five Kerbals. Oh, what's our... 1.35. Yeah, we'll go full throttle. Stage is ready. Where is the moon? Oh, looky there. We could, uh, yeah, we're going to fast forward time here. We're going to shoot straight for the moon again. Oh, Ion. How much did we get? Transmitted 40% from the moon. I mean, 40 science points. I know one of our missions is to get 50%. Uh, oh, yeah, we're. Oh, oh, we screwed pooch, I think. Uh, this is going to be a strong launch here. Morning launch in three, two, one.
if I've saved that. I don't want to do this again. Oh, that's slow. 1.3 is slow. Passing 50 meters. Hundred meters we're gonna roll. Starting to spin a little bit. I don't want that spin. Passing through that first upper atmosphere there. Very good. Looking good. We didn't lock the moon on target, so... This is going to change over. We're at 600 meters per second. That's good. There goes the fuel. Still gaining altitude, which is good. And speed is climbing, which is very good. Getting up into this thinner atmosphere, that's what I like. We're at 39,000 uh, trajectory. trajectory. Still hasn't switched over to orbit. We're not going fast enough for orbit. Better get that speed up there, boy. Get up there, get up there. There it went to orbit. And we really were going to hang at about 20 degrees there and try to get to the moon. Let's uh, lock. Uh, as target. I think we're going to be early. Yeah, we're going to be way early, so we're going to have to just get into orbit. We're going to go for orbit and then come over here to the ascending node maybe and burn for... because it's in this quarter of the sky and by the time we get out there we should be over here which means we should have left over here our, our burn should have been over here so okay let's go ahead and fast forward time uh, first things first let's get some power up the board here And the antenna as well. Whoops. I hate when that mouse button sticks. We're just going to the moon anyway, so let's hold the right here. Up oh, battery. 560, we're good. We're going to be up here in 1 minute 29 seconds. So let's go ahead and fast forward time. Yeah, we left a little early. We we're late, I guess. We left late. Burning for orbit. Pushing the periapsis out.
that's at 70,000 so that's good so now we need to locate the moon which was there we'll make our burn here in 24 minutes we'll burn 850 meters per second 849 maybe Why is that? Oh, I know why. Boom, we catch it there at 852, but we can get a little closer. Oh, it doesn't even say we have to be in a... We can be in a high orbit, it doesn't matter. So 858. Uh, the reason I had to burn more than 849 is I'm at my apoapsis, which means at my periapsis, I'm going as fast as I can, and then I start climbing out to the apoapsis, which is higher, which means I'm going slower, which means I had to use more. Makes sense. Okay, let's get around there and make this burn. We'll use a little bit of... Uh, of this stage to get there, I guess. I got I got a couple more. That one I think is laying on the ground. That one should dip in. It goes down to 51, I think it was at. Yeah, 51. This is a one minute burn. But we're going to have to jettison and make a longer burn. So let's get back on prograde. And there's the moon just rising. We're going to burn to here. It'll be out. Kill that jettison. And make the rest of our burn here. Blowing that apoapsis out until we get to right there. And so all we have to do is just put it in space and let it sit there for 10 seconds. And we'll have, I think the reward was 172,000 Kerbal Bucks. We need those Kerbal Bucks. We got a million, million six. I think this was 80 some thousand. I put a couple of $10,000 RTGs on here though. The ouch, that hurt. There we go. Got six meters left to spare. Once we get into orbit at 467,000 meters. We'll probably move it on closer if we got the fuel. Hey, oh yeah, we got some fuel. Uh, everything is set, right? Yeah, let's uh, jump on out there to see if we get another moon. Ion, whatever. Watching that electric charge, we should be okay. Just gonna put this in orbit and we will be done. It's probably daylight. Well, we could take a look at Opie, but he was standing next to a big crater. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're out near our damn satellites, ain't we? We are right there at them. Had a maneuver to slow down. There we go. second burn 
turn retrograde. Here is our ship. There's the moon, I mean the Kerbin. And there is the moon. I'm not sure what craters these are. Uh, we are high over the moon. Can we do something? Send that back for eight. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Do a little bit of science here. Send that back for 24. Yep. And we're over the Midland Craters. We have a couple of minutes. On. Oh, put, oh yeah, it's docking. Let's grab us a gravity. Yes, 22. We can do that. Let's get down to 15 seconds here. make our burn to capture and watch for the notification notification come on give us that wonderful notification there it is Contract completed, 172,000 for putting that into orbit. And how much delta V do we have? 1,760. We'll take it on down, get it into a low orbit. That way they can jump up and down. Um, from here, may even refuel this. What kind of uh, tank space do we have? Yeah, not bad at all. We've got four, uh, four tanks on. Oh, there's a tank in the middle. We got five tanks on here. I've checked that six. Four, one above the engine, and this one. Six fuel tanks. So our station is in orbit of the moon. I want to turn normal so that it looks normal as it flies around. There we go. Very good. I hope you like this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.